uh, I went to Berlin to paint on one of the pieces of the Berlin Wall, the one that used to separate the East and the West. We've been first contacted by uh, Mr. Lux, who is the owner of uh, pieces of the Berlin Wall, and um, asked us if we could organize like murals with artists we work with, like a wide assortment of different styles and people from different generations. So it was very interesting to see what would be the result. Macbeth, for example, is a person who is more into illustration and doesn't you know, not very used of working on big murals. So I think it was a great challenge also for him. I did use some stuff that I wasn't used to, um, like spray paint. And uh, it was really interesting because we worked with stencils. So that made painting on the wall a lot easier and a lot more interesting as well. Some people have been fighting with the wall. Some people have been uh, taking extremely good care of, you know, doing like very precise work. It really made us understand how, can it, how violent, how strong, or intense it can be to be in front of a piece of cement. When you paint on the wall, there's lots of un unexpected stuff that happen, like spiders coming out of holes, and there's always like the texture is always sh and the paint like never stuck and. Uh, I was lucky because my buddy Guillaume, um, who usually always come with me and is a really good supporter, came and helped me with the uh, painting on the wall and that was, that was very nice of him. And he knows a bit more about spray paint than I do, so that was definitely helpful. It was, it was really cool. It was a mix of different ideas and, and then it was, because it was such a political thing, try to incorporate uh, symbols of the wall, the east, the west, the Berlin bear and stuff like that. It's always a pleasure to work with the Dudes Factory. I mean, they are really cool and, you know, they really pay attention on all the little details and very serious but also very fun guys. So I'm going to keep doing stuff with them, definitely.